So may I request you to kindly occupy the stage because uh, we are to, we'll, we'll get over it after the mementos are distributed. But in the meanwhile, I have, uh, I'll need your 10 minutes of time. Uh, this 10 minutes of time is very important. Uh, so I'll just give you the perspective of why this is important. Because technology, today when we talk about startups, uh, we are by and large operating in individual silos. It's about I, my company, my technology, my know-how. Uh, we cannot indigenize with this I, me, my attitude. We need to be us, ours, and we. This platform is about bringing in that thought process. It's about bringing all of you together. It's bringing the industry. It's bringing the think tanks. It's bringing the OEMs, the original equipment manufacturers. It's bringing in the PSUs. It's bringing in policy making. So that's where the steering committee uh, vision is going to be rolled out because we're going to do policy advocacy for you. Like last two years I've been engaged with this Gaisa uh, platform uh, and as well as ICRA. And I have interacted with a lot of startups and I myself run one. And the common complaint that we have is that the government is probably not taking the right step, the right decision, it needs to be uh, done in a different way, and so on and so forth. We can keep complaining till the cows come home, but that's not gonna take you anywhere or the country anywhere. So what do we knew, need to do? How can we take this to the next level? Like one of uh, uh, my friends in the steering committee, stated very beautifully, we need entrepreneurship and scale. We need thousands of them, thousands of them running together, together towards a common goal in a shared platform. So we have a round table, which is scheduled for tomorrow, which will be revolving around this theme, AI in defense. And I request all those who have not got the invite to please come there if you're really keen in making defense technology. The template, uh, there is a questionnaire that we have formed. The template will go online on ICRA and you will be connected by the ICRA team uh, through the WhatsApp. Uh, you can fill in those questionnaires you know, speak your mind out as to what your expectations are from this platform. What do you expect from the policy side from the government? How do you want funding to happen? How transparent the whole process can be? And at the end of the day, it all matters. What matters is how do you get projects and how do we convert that into a revenue pipeline? So uh, that's what the discussion is going to be about tomorrow. Uh, I will invite every startup and everyone from the industry to uh, be part of that startup. You know, let us get into a conversation first. It's not about a monologue, we coming and talking. These generals have told you what the arms, um, what the opportunities are. Are you going to step into those opportunities and deliver, looking at delivering? And even if you want to do, I know today the, the technology that I'm talking about, AI, quantum space, cryptography, blockchain, it requires a lot of money. Indigenization cannot happen if there is no invention and innovation. And invention and innovation cannot happen if there is no infrastructure. And we know for training, if, if you really want to build these indigenized AI frameworks from bottoms up, we will need processors, storage, memory, computes, and all this costs money. And we know we are all bootstrapped. We are all looking towards angel investors. And the moment they give them the money to you, they're sitting on your head. And that's where it creates problem. That's where we compromise. That's where our technology doesn't get to the next level. We don't have an Elon Musk in this country who talks about colonizing Mars. We talk, we talk about how we can probably uh, uh, automate the next Kirana store. That's a very short-sighted and brittled mindset. We need our youngsters to talk about colonizing Mars. 
We need to talk, we, our youngsters need to conquer the cyberspace. We need to conquer and touch the sky. We need to be Vishwa Gurus. And if we need to do that, we need to start this conversation. This conversation of what you need to do, what you need to get, how would you get there? And we will consolidate all together with the help of these gentlemen who are in the think tanks and reach out to the government. That's our plan. That's our plan of creating the steering committee. We have Lieutenant General Pannu who's sitting here who will be heading that steering committee. And we have an industry veteran who this country has not yet acknowledged, but we have him as our vice chair, Mr. Chandra Krishnamurti, who's sitting there. And these are the people who are going to lead this steer steering tank. We've got 12 members, hand-picked, passionate. They might not be the greatest of minds in AI, but trust me, every day in and day out, they want to make that change. They want to contribute. So they will least that they, they're going to do is listen to you, consolidate that, make it into a document. And we are going to knock the doors of the government. We're not going to let them sleep. And probably the prime minister of this country wants it that way. He doesn't sleep. And if he's awake, let's take the most of his time and tell him that this is the policy that we expect from his government. That's what this steering committee is made for. We are here at your service. There's no costs associated with it, just conversations to begin with. And when we converse, and when we create this template, when we do this policy advocacy, when we reach the government, and if we get even 10% of what we ask for, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to colonize Mars. Definitely. We will think on those lines. And that is the fire that we want to set amongst all the youngsters of this country. This country is the most youthful country in the world. Our average age is 26 years, all of 26 years. And if AI can be powered, can be, can be matured to the next generation, which I believe is going to be an artificial general or artificial super intelligence framework, that's what I talk about. If you're going to create cognitive frameworks, it's only young minds which will create. I'll give you an analogy. If only money and big corporates were to create big ideas, then the IBMs and the Xeroxes would never have allowed the Apples and the Microsofts to even have taken birth. But we know the Apples and Microsoft took birth. We know Nokia's went obsolete because they refused to invent. So that is the lesson that we need to draw. We can permanently keep looking down on ourselves that this is not happening and that is not happening. Can we come together? Can we come together and initiate a conversation wherein we inspire each other, be brothers in arms, and take this country really forward? You know, we talked about technology battles, and that's why this particular discussion was very, very important. This is general who talked about a technology battle. The technology battle is not going to be fought by the different services. It's going to be fought by you. So can we, in that battle, inspire ourselves, come together, and that's what this conversation is all about. That's going to happen tomorrow. So I, in, as the convener of that particular steering committee, I invite all of you to come to that table and start speaking your mind. You might be wrong. Don't worry about whether you're right or wrong. Let's start speaking. Let's start understanding each other. Let's start understanding the needs that we have for each other. And therefore, we will step in the right direction. The country will actually become Atmanirbhar. When we say Atmanirbhar, it cannot just happen because we say it so. We will need to found it on the tenets of invention and innovation. And that, again, will need to be founded on a robust platform and ecosystem, which will be able to give money freely with trust, not worrying whether there will be delivery or not. And then we will definitely have the technology of tomorrow. Thank you for listening out. Right, I, I took your 10 minutes, and I think I have. Uh, I, and, and, and I think um, I, I have conveyed what I wanted to. And uh, also, uh, now we have 
and a watch of many, I request uh, Air Marshal Chopra to please uh, come to the stage and give away the award for I'll request Ms. Mandeep to come and take over so that she can conduct the rest of the ceremony so that the award ceremony and the mementos for the guests can be given. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for patiently listening to us and having heard us through. And I hope that you will all be present in numbers tomorrow. Thank you once again. <laughs>